Hey, welcome back to YouTube. My name is Mike Schwartz. Today, I'm gonna to share with you guys how to get a price chart up on NinjaTrader 8. It's a very powerful platform, but it can be a little bit overwhelming at first. Now, this is gonna be one of the videos in a larger um, NinjaTrader tutorial video series. I'm gonna to try to keep it all together so you guys can, you know, if you guys have questions from time to time, you guys can go back and refer to the series. Now, one thing that you guys can do for me, if you guys have a question regarding NinjaTrader, please leave it in the comment section down below. That way I can make a future video on it. Right now, this video series is still in the infancy stages. So, you know, I think this is only video two or three of the video series. But in all of my videos moving forward, like the S&P analysis videos, my volume profile videos, all of those videos, I'm gonna have a link in the description box down below where it says Ninja Trader Tutorial, and you'll always be able to click on that link to access this playlist. Now, right now, I'll go ahead and drop a card right up above so you can also access the playlist. And, this, and that play card is gonna be in all the Ninja Trader videos, so you can always be taken back to the playlist. All right, so in video number one, I showed you guys how to download Ninja Trader and install it on your computer. Now, once it's installed, you'll see you have an icon that says Ninja Trader 8 64 bit. If you have a 64 bit system that's the icon you want to click on if you have a 32 bit then you just click on this icon right here and now it's going to bring you up a window that looks just like this it says this is your ninja trader control panel right so this is where we control the workspaces your connections um, different tools and right here under new is where we're going to add the price chart so we come right over here to chart and now you're like, okay, so what is my symbol? Well, maybe you're new to the futures market and you don't know what expiration you should be trading. That's one of the great things I love about NinjaTrader. I can just click ES right here. And I'm already on the futures tab right here. And I can click, okay, ES. Okay, I'm gonna double click this. And you'll see that I already put up the June contract. That is the current contract that we should be trading at this point. Just yesterday, the 03 contract completely expired. So there's no way to even trade that contract moving forward. Now, what we wanna do from this screen now is we wanna go ahead and we wanna set up, you know, what do we want a daily base chart? Do we want a minute chart? What type of chart do we want on our screen? Well, for this, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna simply just click a daily chart and I'm gonna, you know, leave everything the way it is. Now, if you want a custom, um, Actually, we'll go ahead and click OK, all right, just so we get a price chart up. All right, so here's a price chart. Now, you guys may or may not see a price chart because, you know, you do have to have a data connection. But if we come over here to connections, there is always, um, I think it's uh, kinetic free end of the day. Where are you at? Right there. Kinetic free end of, end of the day. You should be able to click on that and it'll allow you to connect and you can get end of the day daily data for free. Now, Ninja Trader will give you um, access for I believe 10 days or so of free data for futures market and Forex market. However, if you're new to trading, there's a more powerful feature called playback that we're gonna to get to later on in this video series. And you will not need to worry about the data connection in order to you know use that. Now, now that I got this price chart on my screen, let's go ahead and we're gonna go ahead and let this take up the entire screen. You say, okay, so what do I do now? Well, there's a couple things that I like to change um, when I put the price chart on my screen. Now, this may bother you, this may not bother you. I do not like my price right here on the right edge of the screen. So one of the things that I like to change is I go ahead and right click, and I come right over here to properties. From the properties tab, you can see where it says right side margin. I normally just put this at 50, and when I click OK, you can see it spaces it out just a little bit. Now, that makes a huge difference for me. And, you know, I swear I've been looking at it for many, many years. So that, to me, is very important. Now, now that we've got the price chart on our screen, maybe some of you guys are colorblind. Like right now, I'm looking at this screen, and I can't tell you which candle is green and which candle is red. I'm, I'm partially colorblind, not 100%. If you know the colors are drastic, obviously I can tell, but looking at the screen, I can't tell you what is green and what is red. Everything looks the same color to me. So if we wanna change the candle colors, what we could do is we could right click on the screen and we would come right over here to where it says data series, all right? Data series on this chart. We can also change it in this data series. We can change you know from a tick to a, to a volume chart, to a minute chart, to a daily chart. I'm just gonna leave it on day for this we can come down here to the candles and let's say for our up bars, maybe I wanna change it a different color and I'm just gonna make something that stands out. I'm gonna put royal blue on here 
And there's another thing that I like to change quite often as well. And if we come over here and we look, candlestick body outline, okay. I already have this set to how I like it. I, body outline, I always leave it transparent. I believe out of the box, it comes like a light gray or something like that. And to me, it's just a little overpowering. So one of the things I like to do is candle outline. I just go ahead and I put that to transparent. And if I do like that, boom, you can see it. So to me, it's a lot cleaner, but again, that's all your own preference. So just, you know, know your way around this tab right here, the data series, that's gonna be very important. If you want it to plot trades that you've already play, uh, taken, if you click um, right here and you go to text and marker, it'll give you the price point in which you placed your trades and show you exactly where you entered the trade with a marker and a text um, telling you what the price actually was, all right? So that's very, very simple features in terms of how to get a price chart on your screen. Now, what about adding indicators? Everybody loves to add indicators to the chart. Well, right here on this tab, right here on this chart, you can see you're, you're gonna wanna be familiar, <clears throat> excuse me, familiar with some of these tabs, but right here, the indicator tab, I'm gonna click on that. Now that we have our indicator window up, this is where we can select all of our indicators on the chart. Now, some of you guys during my live streams have asked, what all comes with AlgoBox? Look at all the different indicators within AlgoBox. It's a very powerful system. Right here, it starts right here, and I scroll down and keep scrolling and keep scrolling. That's all the different analysis techniques that we can apply to our algo, to our charts to utilize everything that AlgoBox has to offer. Now, you guys probably don't have that on your charts, but if you guys wanna learn more about AlgoBox, there'll be a link in the description box down below where it says AlgoBox Discord Room. You can join their free Discord Room and learn all the different strategies and even get a trial to AlgoBox if you desire to do so. All right, so I'm gonna click right down here. I'm gonna click on Bollinger Bands. Bollinger Bands tends to be a popular indicator. It's not one of my favorite, but I can put this on here just to show you guys you know, how to, you know, take, how to adjust some of the parameters on it and whatnot. So we need to double click on it and you'll see where it comes right down here to configured. And right here, we can put the standard deviation. We can set what we want that at. But first I'm gonna click apply and I'm gonna move this out of the way just a little bit to the left. And let's say that you wanna use different colors on your screen. Let's say you want the upper band to be, let's say a white color and you want the lower band to be, let's say, we'll say a, a red, all right? Lower band will be a red and click apply. Now you can see the colors have changed. Now, if you wanna change how thick the line is, right here where it says width, we can simply, I'll put this on six just so, just to exaggerate it quite a bit. And you can see it makes it a little bit thicker depending on how good your eyes are or you know just how you like looking at the chart. You may want this a little bit thicker. You may want it a little bit thinner. In NinjaTrader, we have the ability to customize a lot of the parameters for the indicators on the chart. So again, that's, that's very good. You wanna get familiar with this screen. Now there's another way to get this screen. I'm gonna click, go ahead and click okay. There's another way to get to this screen. Instead of just clicking on this tab right up here, we can also right click on the screen and come right down here where it says indicators. And that's gonna take us to the screen right over here. And again, we can add any other indicators back onto our chart or we can come over here with any indicators that we have customized. Now, remember, when we click on an indicator, we need to see it come down into the configure, configuration box. So let's say I come right down here and I wanna add, let's see, a bar timer, right? You see, I clicked it once, it's grayed out over here and it never came out and down to this box. What we need to do is we need to make sure we double click it so it comes down to here. Then that will allow us to adjust the properties. As you guys can see, when I just click on it once, right here, it's grayed out and it's not down here. So you gotta make sure we double click it to bring it down to the configured window. Then from that point on, then we can go ahead and we can adjust you know, the parameters and you know, put the different tweaks in there that we want for those indicators. So if you're serious about day trading, NinjaTrader is an excellent platform in my opinion. It's fast, it's reliable. I love a lot of the features that NinjaTrader has. And as we progress through this video series, I'm gonna share with you guys some hacks that will not only help you navigate around the NinjaTrader platform faster and more effective, but also some ways in which, you know, we can use some shortcuts for the things that we use on a daily basis as we're day trading these markets. Like always, hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a big thumbs up. Till next time, good luck and good trading.